Hi, the new CAT pattern in the sense that the number of questions reduced. The most predictable section is con. I mean, you have similar type of questions, etc. It's individual questions. There's nothing called a four question set or a six question set. Yeah, okay, the number of questions may only change. So among the three sections, con would be the most predictable as such. Technically, you should ideally have a 22 question or 24. It is possible it can be 20 also, but yes, likely to be 22 or 24 question con section. Questions will be definitely individual. They don't have a group question normally offered in the exam. And questions are normally spread over the entire syllabus. That means you will have one or two questions per topic. Okay, that's how it is going to be. You normally, I mean, if you look at the recent papers, the papers are distributed. I mean, the questions are distributed. Geometry will have a chunk of questions purely because there are number of subtopics in geometry. But otherwise, most of the other topics will have one or two questions. One or two questions of logs, one or two questions of uh, work, one or two questions of time to etc. That's how we distribute the questions. So that means it is likely that there will be no major changes. It's going to be similar to what it was before, except for the number of questions. What could surprise people is a difficult level. So be prepared for different difficult levels. This is true for all the other areas as well. But normally, quant is majorly effective at the difficult level of the questions. Okay. So that means if the paper quant becomes very difficult, people will falter. If the quant is easy, then you should be able to do well. But yes, have a proper strategy for different difficult levels. Now, DLR technically normally is a little difficult. Even if it's easy, you can manage it. You'll be prepared. But quant. Being a third section, by the time you come out, you will be a little tired and a difficulty level creates a big impression as far as the count is concerned. So be prepared for a strategy for different difficulty level. Plan it out accordingly and go about it. So more difficult, you'll have to solve less number of questions. Less difficult or it's easy paper, you'll have to solve more number of questions. That's how it's going to be. And therefore, you need to keep your cool head in the examination and try to solve as much as possible based on difficult level. We are just trying to give you different scenarios of different, uh, you know, possibilities in the paper pattern that's going to be there. Because last year we realized that students who went for the examination did face a lot of surprise in the examination. Okay. And it did affect to some extent the strategy. The number of questions were much more. And as Kat this year rightly pointed out, people found it lengthy as such. This year, yes, they're reducing the number of questions. So hopefully it will be better paper in terms of you'll be able to better predict the paper and go ahead with it. Right? I hope these videos help. We'll be bringing in more videos that will help you prepare for the examination and be prepared. I hope that helps. Thank you.